People are worried about their mortgages. They're worried about their rent. They're worried about being able to pay their business loans. Do you feel any responsibility for that anxiety? I understand how worried people are. And I understand that people are struggling and it's very, very difficult times. And this is a global problem. You know, we've got Putin's war in Ukraine, the aftermath of COVID. And what is happening around the world is that interest rates are rising. If we look at this graph, and you can look at it over there, Prime Minister, you can see what happened to the cost of government borrowing. On the mm. day that you made that announcement, mm. it spiked. And it didn't just spike. It's predicted to stay high for long. Now, the reason that matters <coughs> is when it costs the government more to borrow, everything costs more. Everybody feels the increase in interest rates, whether that's on government, on mortgages, on people's rents. This is a direct consequence of the decisions you made last week. And interest rate increases are going to mean pressure on people's mortgages and less money for public services. We have been in a very long period of low interest rates. And the fact is that due to the war in Ukraine, perpetrated by Russia, interest rates are rising around the world. This is not about what was going on in the war in Ukraine already. We, we know that that's a huge challenge. But look at the direct result on that day. And the chief economist at the Bank of England, That Hugh is Hill, not the same as interest rates, though, Laura. But it all so I think, I think the audience should be clear that that is not the same as interest rates, but it all feeds which through. are rightly set but, by the independent Bank of but England. But it's about the cost of government borrowing, and that feeds through to so many other things. And there are problems in other countries around the world, but the Bank of England's chief economist has said the rise in borrowing undoubtedly had a UK-specific component. Standard & Poor's, who one of the biggest, one of the world's biggest credit rating agencies, put the government on notice, saying that the country might have a credit downgrade. You can't just say this is something that's happening around the world. I get up every morning as Prime Minister thinking, how can we make our country more successful? How can we reassure people? How can we help people get through these very difficult times? And we do face difficult times. You know, the war in Ukraine mm. is regrettably continuing. Vladimir Putin is, in, is continuing mm. with his sabre-rattling rhetoric. You know, we, we do face very, very difficult circumstances. Laura, we are not dealing with the issues we're dealing with in isolation. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with these issues in a world where there's a slowing global economy, and where there are rising interest rates, where there is huge inflation, mainly driven by energy caused by Vladimir Putin's war. Now, any government has to deal with the circumstances it faces. And we face this situation of, you know, which was unforeseen, huge energy costs, rising inflation due to the war, in Ukraine and the aftermath but you, of COVID. But you know, but you know very well, Prime Minister, that the, the, a small number of people in the Conservative Party, tens of thousands, rather than the whole country, voted for you in the leadership contest, perfectly legitimately. But do you fear that you have put the country on a path that it didn't ask for, 